Hi. Got some beautiful weather here, haven't we, eh? Flippin' Nora. It's about 86 at the moment, and it's only about 9 o'clock in the morning. Should be getting up to the 90s. Looking good. Anyway, let's get back to business. We've got Q3, uh, and the airbag swab has, uh, has failed. And aren't they like getting old of flaming hen's teeth? I mean, we ring the manufacturer up, he wants 256 quid, but we might have to wait seven months to get it. Not much cop when you got an MOT, there's no horn. Uh, all the um, all the buttons don't work, the horn don't work, and the airbag lights on. So, obviously we can't get one from uh, Volkswagen or Audi, and uh, we've had to source it from somewhere else, but we've had to pay double the price, because supply and demand. I mean, there was a bright guy there that saw that, wasn't he? Hey, hold on, they can't get it, let's get a load in and sell them for double the price. To be honest, I like the way he was thinking. I know it's wrong, but oh, we need more people like that. Anyway, this is the component that, um, that we're replacing, uh, which is this one here. Um, uh, here's a genuine part number. Where is it? It is a safe, genuine Vol uh, Volkswagen part. And th this is the bit that's failed. Now I'm not going to show you all of it, I'm just going to show you changing it and something which I mucked up last time. I had a Skoda in, uh, changed the squab, and I had one fault code on it when I started. When I fitted it, I had fault codes everywhere, and I thought, what have you done here then, Trev? And I had to, um, I had to uh, put it all back together again to get the uh, the information that I required. So I'm just going to show you how we need to um, get the information. Okay, I'm back again. Right, so oh, let's shut the door. You know what I mean? I don't know the doors open here we go right so just gonna go into where are we dun 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 there is um see if we can go out a little bit more right so we're gonna auto scan start Drop the window down. And as you can see, it's just going through the system at the moment. And what we need to do So they go through that lot, and then we can uh, we can start. I say we're just having a quick look, see what's what was in here, and then when we've replaced it, we can see if we've done it right or not. Because last time I'd done it, I had fault codes. Where do I have? Uh, right here. There was on the immobiliser I had the alarm not working and then by the time I finished it was absolutely everything was in red. And I thought, so obviously there's an ABS, but that's probably something to do with the airbag. Um, steering wheel, so, right, so we go into the steering wheel. And... Steering wheel control, no communication, which means it's failed. So what you do is... 
uh, done, go back, go and decode him. Right, now that number there is the one I'm going to take a photograph of. I like taking photographs because if I write it, it doesn't look, it, it could be written down wrong. So you take that number there and then that number is going to have to be coded into the new one because as I say the actual um, uh, the module I've got could be coded to another car it's just got the same part number that's that's all it's got so it could be actually fitted to a, an Audi A3 or a, a Volkswagen or a Skoda and it's coded to that car so this one here will take an um, take an actual uh, photograph of and I'll show you how to code that in afterwards okay back again right to remove the airbag don't bother taking everything off here leave that alone because that's nothing wrong with that all you do is you pull that little tag up there squeeze it and you'll see it actually opens up then pull it out and then this little tag here and you pull that apart and that's getting the airbag out then obviously steering wheel next which is one bolt but I've got to measure that up make sure I'm going to put it back in the right place otherwise I'll get moaned out if it's squibby so uh, it's definitely got a bit warmer while well, I've just been sitting here and I'm in the shade so uh, it's a beautiful day anyway let's get this bit here done and then we can move on okay back again Right, take the steering wheel off. We're going to need 12 mil, and it's got to be the old spline, um, and that fits in to there. And then we take it out. I'll say it wasn't that loose. I did undo it. Right, if you have a look here, just to help. Now, if you have a look, you got two marks there. You got one at the top, and you got one at the bottom. And that's so you can actually align the steering wheel back up after you've removed it. I like that idea. Someone thought about this before we actually got hold of it ourselves. Normally we used to do a little scratch mark on there and put it back to, yeah, good old days. Anyway, I'll get this off, get the cowling all stripped out, and then we can get the, uh, the main squab out. Okay, another little tip. When you're actually taking the cowling off, um, they got two little tabs here and what you do is just push those in and then lift that up do the same thing there and that comes up and you have your two screws here and I'll, I'm going to go on the guess there's another one down there um, and that all pulls out I haven't looked yet but I'm pretty sure otherwise it would fall all over the place wouldn't it so let me get that out and, uh, and get onto that squab Okay, got it all stripped out. It's definitely getting warmer. I've got a bit of sweat on my old head at the moment. I'm trying to clean it up so it don't go on the customer's car. Um, right, so all together we have um, three bolts. We have three and they're T15s. There and there. And that's your three screws. You've got a little tab in here. So what you do is just slightly lift that up, don't give it too much, well it doesn't really matter because this one's broken, but if you're actually doing a job and you have to get in underneath it, the last thing you want to do is break this bit here. So you just lift that up lightly, little screwdriver, pull it out, same with it on this one here, same as this one on here, just pull it forward lightly. Here's your big yellow one, now this one. It's got one of them funny clips on here where you, you have to pull that out and then you squeeze that, pull it out. And this one's got the same thing. Just pull that red bit out, squeeze that and pull it out. And then by rights, we should be able to do that. And that is the offending part that's actually broken. The ribbon inside's broken, which controls all this and uh, that will be the problem so let's get it let's get let's get it swapped out and uh, I'll start putting it back together again you ain't gonna watch me put it back together again and then what I'm going to show you is is what happens when you haven't got the right coding in it 
because uh, I had to put all of it back last time and I didn't think about it. I knew about it, I just didn't think about it and I thought, well, what if I put this here, someone else might, might save them a little time taking it off, put it back on again. So, um, right, let's move on. Okay, everything back together again and um, I know I'll fix something because um, I've got a horn so um, which I never had before uh, I know this is going to go to hell because the coding's different to the one I fitted so what we'll do is we'll just have a look what codes I've got with this one shall we so let this just go through um, and the last time now what we got now because I say last time it was just it was just damn oil red and um, so as you saw what was in there before and we just let this go through and um, I'd like to say this is a genuine one as well so um, it's a uh, we go through here so it's just going through come on come on come on dun 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 probably a bit before everyone's time now here we go come on come on come on come on come on right now as you can see now we still got the steering wheel airbag right let's have a look what we got an engine now an engine and it's got here code in the VCU powertrain bus so it's got nothing to do with that and the second one is oh this one's got an oxygen sensor so perhaps this has got another problem on the system so right we'll have to write that one on the bill right okay done go back so what I'm going to do is um, uh, close control and then I'm going to clear the DTCs and we'll see what comes back I've got these saved so if I've got to go back I can at least um, see what's going on and um, and we'll worry about it then at least I can at least I can see now we've still got the engine steering wheel malfunction well, this is weird because last time I had it on everything they are missing messengers uh, here we go I had that last time turn signal switch short to ground windscreen wipers but they all work cruise control switch cruise control switch ah oh. powertrain data bus so perhaps that's upset something in the uh, in the ECU steering angle sensor well that's normal because I've taken it apart so I can clear that by turning the steering wheel back to front right okay here we go so done go back right so what I'm going to do steering wheel we're in so you go encoding and you've got that one now the coding before uh, right let's put me ugly mug in front of the uh, in front of the actual uh, thing right and we're going to go into now as you can see the coding is different to either one of them so what we're going to do is we're going to put a new code in okay so get that up and the new code in is like it's all numbers so it's one hold on that's one zero eight four zero zero four and zero 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 right that's the new coding of what I took off the old um, old module 
says do it, all right? So all we do is do it, let's go, do it. And now the code now is accepted and we've got it all there. Let's press OK. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to clear the codes. Yes. What I should have done possibly is start it up and got rid of the actual um, uh, steering angle sensor because what you have to do there is quite simple. Okay, right, go back, see what comes up now. Right, can you see? My steering wheel's done, ABS brakes is done. So obviously the steering angle had something to do with the ABS brakes. But what I'm gonna have to do, check coding of ECUs on powertrain data bus. Checking coding versions of modules in, well I never changed that. Clear code. Right, okay. So let's let's just play with that a little bit. Um, let's go in this one, just in case. What we got here? There's a motor flap gone. Yeah, that's quite common, isn't it? Really. Clear that one. We know that's going to come back. But what I'm really interested in is um, that engine management one. Let's see if that comes back. Because I haven't changed the coding. In there. Check coding of engine ECU. And it starts. Hmm. I'm going to have to do some homework on that one. To say the close. That's the only one I haven't got. Let's have a little look in there. Don't go back. Coding. Still got current coding. So. 1.4, this is all correct, that's correct, and that's the, um, that's the one on there, hmm, that's interesting, okay, right, so, as you can see, it's all done, and, uh, We've got the airbag off. Airbag. Oh, we've got, we've got an EPC light on. And I don't know what that is. Let's just do the... As I say, I've just reset it now. And that's probably what we wanted to do. Just to reset it, no airbag lights, no EPC light, job done. Now I'm happy. So obviously, where we were playing with the coding on the other one, um, it probably got a little bit upset. So um, that's job done, I hope this helped. And uh, just enjoy the weather, because you'll soon be moaning when it starts to get back to cold again. I know I do, I love this, this is great. Half right slubs it anyhow. So I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, hopefully we've all learned a little bit out of it. And uh, I never made the same mistake as I did on the other one. So uh, I'm going to wish you all a good day and thanks for watching. I mean, just keep your comments coming. I mean, uh, nice to read and uh, I'm, I'm actually even starting to make some new friends of it out there as well, so which is good. I've met a guy who does land drivers 22 years. Oh man, I think it was probably longer actually, but it's a bit warm. But he needs a medal anyway. Good talking to you, anyway. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye bye.